we're pretty far ahead on this one. I'm glad the road is still here. It makes all the difference. If the bridge is still here, then uh, I'll be in great shape. Oh, you can't win them all. That looks like a swim. So, I'm not driving across this river. We're gonna have to walk across it tomorrow. So this right here will be my trailhead tomorrow. I'll bushwhack down through there to the river and uh, see if I can find a good place to ford it. So yeah, I got some firewood and this place is also a mess. I gotta clean it up. I'm gonna miss being able to come out to places like this. Not too long. Okay, let's get this party started. Get some water in here. That looks good. That's good. These wings are amazingly good. I'm just paranoid that a bear is going to sneak up behind me and try to steal a couple of them. First part about tomorrow is that I'm gonna have to cross that river first thing in the dark. I don't know how deep it is or how fast the water's moving or if that's even a good spot to cross. I've been staring at the map. I can't figure out what to do with that. So uh, tomorrow I'm just going to start hiking towards Iconoclast Mountain. And once I get close to it, I'll uh, scout around with the drone and see what the best option is from there. 
even though I tried to carefully plan out that last hike to uh, Mount Monashi, it was the drone that I was uh, following around out there. And it did take me to the right place after all. I did some research. It turns out you are supposed to go up that glacier, but preferably at a, a better time of the year and uh, not alone. Off I go into the darkness again. I think I got everything. Bear spray, check, check. Making my way down to the river now. I actually got to see the northern lights last night. Pretty cool. It's rare to see it this far south. I found the remnants of an old logging bridge. I'll try to shimmy across here. If I fall off, my day is over before it even begins. Not too bad. Out of everything I do, bushwhacking in the dark is by far the scariest. It's kind of hard to get out of bed in the morning when you know this is what's ahead of you. There's no comfort zone. It's good to scare yourself now and then. It's healthy, but this is kind of ridiculous. Big paws. When will I learn that these BC bushwhacks aren't meant to be day hiked? This is intense. Ah. Ah. I'm six and a half hours into this and there's still so far to go. It's way more bushwhacking than anticipated. And even terrain like this in the summer, it's super easy. You just fly across this stuff. But right now with the snow on it, I just can't see where my feet are going. I'm slipping and sliding. It's really slow and tedious. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn around at this point. I'll have to come back in the summer for an overnight trip on this one. I'll have to start picking uh, shorter hikes with uh, trails now that the conditions have changed so much. And just like that, summer's over. I had a good one though. I think Mount King Edward was the craziest. Just being way up there on those ice fields was unreal. And that last part of the climb still makes me feel queasy when I think about it. There's a bunch of other good ones like Mount Sampson. Skiest was fun because I could use my pack raft on that. And uh, Eyebrow Peak. Karnak was a lot of fun. I like those ones that you have to solve for yourself. The last part of the scramble on that was pretty amazing, just looking down on uh, that glacier. Yeah, I've been in this uh, same routine for a while now. I think it all started with the crock pot. I'm kind of wondering if there's something else I can do for a while, keep myself busy through the winter. It'd be so great if the border was open. I'd be down in the States cruising the desert right now if it was. I'm just glad to be back before dark. That's all I wanted. These are really good. I originally bought it for a camping trip, but I've kind of got addicted to them ever since. Sausage. It was a 12 hour hike. I think it would have been at least 16 and a half to get it all done in one day. Maybe it's doable as a day hike on a good summer day. Just glad to be back before sunset. 
bushwhacking around in the dark with the cougars and bears. Ah, uh, no thanks. I'm good. I just got back into the land of cell service and I just heard the news that the U.S. border is going to reopen this November. So I'm going to be spending most of the winter cruising around the desert. I'm super excited about that to uh, finally stretch out into some new areas. It seems like I've been uh, doing loops around Alberta and B.C. for the longest time. Uh, I've seen a lot of the southwest uh, with my bicycle, but it's kind of limited how much you can see when you're hauling around 12 liters of water. So this is going to be a completely different experience with a 4x4 van. I'll be able to go so much further out there in all these uh, remote areas that I couldn't reach before and just do a lot of hiking and exploration. Uh, it's going to be amazing. But yeah, the sheer quantity of uh, 4x4 trail in uh, the States is just astonishing. So I can't wait to get down there. Da 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 da